That was really lovely. Today's reading is Guest House by Rumi. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival. A joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. They may be cleaning you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Unitarian Universalism is a tradition that strives towards inclusivity on many levels. We strive to create a welcoming environment for seekers of all persuasions and ways of expressing their authentic gendered selves. We strive to, as a denomination, as a spiritual practice to be relevant in these times to rid ourselves of the bondage that is white supremacy culture. We want to stop shaming ourselves for our body sizes and shapes. And no matter what a person's ability, mobility, we want to make all of our sanctuary spaces accessible to them. All this and earth justice. We are called to be gentle with Mother Earth and all of her inhabitants. We are called to be frugal with extracted resources and recognize that this extraction and the polluting use of energy has influenced climate change. We embrace theological differences and acknowledge that the life force energy, that transcending mystery and wonder that makes life alive has countless names, countless relationships and rituals and practices. Some may say that having an ideology that expands this diversity of human existence is far reaching. It's extreme, it's too much, and it's radical. Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> Unitarian Universalism is radical. And couple that with good old fashioned hospitality and we have radical hospitality. So as Reverend Marilyn Sewell wrote, radical means out of the ordinary, revolutionary even. She goes on to say, so what would it mean if we were to receive someone a stranger with a presence that not just polite, but to receive them with revolutionary generosity. And all I can say is, whoa, okay. Not only radical hospitality, but revolutionary, uh, revolutionary generosity. Um, I'm game, so let's explore. By nature, humans are tribalistic. Humankind is hardwired to seek out what is familiar and comfortable. So the request for radical hospitality and revolutionary generosity is asking us to step outside of that natural tendency. And in these times of extreme political divisiveness, concern for the environment and human welfare, there are many opportunities for us to take sides, to stick with our own, and to close the door on what is unfamiliar and edgy. And I admit that there are no easy answers here, and that's why it is an exploration. As we heard in the poem by Rumi, The Guest House, he suggests to greet this divisiveness these unknowns and quandaries at the door smiling. 
Even if they are a crowd of sorrows that violently sweep our house of its furniture, we are to treat them honorably. And heaven knows that's a big request. In a culture that values comfort and ease, why on earth would we invite someone to come in and make a mess of everything? And this is when it becomes a spiritual practice. And I have a suggestion on how we can approach this. Something that came to my mind several years ago as a New Year's resolution was to practice namaste. And as I have, I find that all of my relationships have been, have been an, from a much better place. So this Hindu prayer is a greeting that essentially goes like this. The divine spark within my heart meets and greets the divine spark within your heart. I have found that when we initiate a relationship or a conversation from this place, we start at a higher vibration. And it is a higher vibration, a place of mutuality and love. And just as the Article 2 image of our proposed values and covenants show, all of our best practices come from a place of love right in the center. In the spirit of radical hospitality, this is an invitation to practice namaste. It's an invitation to see the divinity in all people and honestly in all of earth as we go through our days. Well, as Rumi also says, this disruption may be clearing us out for something new, a delight something of value that we do not know about and might not otherwise know unless we make room for it. He suggests that it has been sent from a guide from beyond, a divine source, a universal life spirit that gives us countless opportunities to better ourselves and stretch beyond the limits of comfort. It gives us an opportunity to have bold and challenging experiences that grow our souls. Now again, imagine the guest house, one that requires radical hospitality and revolutionary generosity. Some interactions that encourage us to set aside our own comfort, and heaven knows we are creatures of comfort. And what happens if we set aside our own comfort and reach out and say yes, to make room for the unknown and watch as the guide from beyond influences us to our very best selves. This is a gift to humanity to set aside this desire of comfort and familiarity and be willing to embrace the unknown and what is uncertain. And it is a gift to ourselves that we set aside our desire for comfort and familiarity and be willing to embrace the unknown and what is unfamiliar. And I can assure you that I am preaching this to myself more than I'm preaching it to you. The beauty and value of this gift always reveals itself some way, somehow, but it might take weeks. It might take months, years, decades. Heck, it might not even happen in our lifetime. So it requires trust and faith. It requires allowing something new to come through us, possibly through chaos, certainly messiness. And it requires us to set aside our preconceived notions and to practice Namaste, and be patient with the process. So as we go forward from this service, we are invited to take the opportunities as they present themselves, to practice 
radical hospitality and revolutionary um, generosity because we are the people we have been waiting for. Every act that comes from a place of love is significant, whether we see the results or not. And whether we understand the impact or not, know in our hearts that all acts from a place of love is a spiritual practice. So blessed be this vision and this goal. <laughs>